It's time. I, I don't even want to do the intro. I, I, I actually don't even want to do the intro. I don't even want to do this video. I didn't even want to watch this movie. The last airbender. My God, how have you found my childhood's butthole and then shoved your fat fist up it with a fat wedding ring? Wow, how could you fuck up so badly? There's fuck ups. I mean, that's Hollywood. I mean, people are going to fuck up. How do you fuck up this badly? You screw up so badly. You couldn't even get the pronunciations right. It's Avatar, not Avatar. It's Avatar. Just having a little twist on the way you pronounce it doesn't make it fancy. And it's Aang, not Ung. Aang, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're so stupid. You couldn't even get the pronunciations right. You couldn't even get the characters right. Aang is a sweet child with like, with no worries in the world. And then he's confronted with the Fire Nation and this realization that he's gotta fight this war. And he's still a kid. He's still got this mentality of this kid. What did you do with this kid? He is as flat as paper itself. I swear to Christ, he's like, the only time he had energy in his soul, he was like, yeah, I, I was upset then, but I'm not now. That's the most energy I've seen coming off his fucking face the entire film. That's got to tell you something. There's that one time where he does the little gyro ball thing with the air and swinging around. He doesn't act like a kid once because you know why? He's too busy fucking moping and groaning. This isn't the DC Extended Universe, sir. It's fucking The Last Airbender. The thing that makes us laugh, that makes us cry, that makes us want to cheer for these kids. I wanted to see this fucking kid get shot in the fucking face. What do you mean? And you can't even get Ahsoka correctly right. Ahsoka, the comedic relief. What do you do with him? You, he's fucking worse than Batman. He's like, oh my god. I gotta protect you, Katara. I, my dad told me to. Yes! In the cartoon, he was confronted with that. But you know what? He was still a kid. And he acted like a kid. There was energy coming off these people. And why is the Southern Water Tribe so colored? But yet, the, 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 these two other kids happen to be white. That, I mean, this ain't a, a war about whitewashing. It's not about that. But tell me, how can these two kids be white when everyone is of color? It makes no sense! And then Katara is probably the flattest out of them all. Yes, they were all flat. Ahsoka's acting was garbage. I mean, he was easily the worst acting. Definitely the worst service, but Katara was the flattest. Katara, the mother, the, the, the friendly person who will be there for Aang when he needs her most. We gotta protect him. You know why? Because we found him. She wanted to protect him in the cartoon because they were connected with him. They were bonded with him. They played games. They liked the kids. Not because it was our responsibility. None of that shit. It wasn't a responsibility. We went on this journey in the cartoon because they cared for each other. In this thing, I think one of them gonna got in shot. They would be like, Ugh, tough shit. And let's talk about one of the worst offenders on this entire movie. The fucking bending. What do you mean, boy? Why is this? Doing a drop of water. In the cartoon, it was so simple. Fucking water whip. Backhand. Fucking rock blast. Why do you need to do this stomping and all this fucking synchronized dancing shit? That makes no sense. It's not practical. And yes, I have to bring practicality in this, even though it's a fucking last airbender movie. How are you fighting when you're doing a dance? It makes no fucking sense. It's not dancing. It's Fucking military <laughs> This movie pisses me off like a lot, a lot more than it really should. It does nothing, nothing right from the cartoons. Let's talk about the Earthbenders for a second. How they were imprisoned. The cartoon, I'm gonna keep saying it. And if you're watching this and gonna complain about me comparing to the cartoons, 
what are you doing here? Honestly, you just, most people, 99% of the people watching this right now are watching this so I can just compare to the cartoon. Because people who watch this movie only watch because of the cartoon. That's the only reason why this thing made any money. And you know what they did to it? They fingered us like, oh, oh, fuck you, fan base, fuck you. Fuck you guys, fuck you, fan base. <laughs> but back to the topic at hand. The Earthbenders, when they were imprisoned in the cartoon, they were on a steel boat. So they couldn't do anything. They imprisoned them on their own land when there's Earth surrounding them. What do you mean? So how, tell me, how does that work? How do you imprison somebody who is like a fire lord and you shove him in the fucking oven. How does that work? How do you imprison somebody and take them to Atlantis when they are a waterbender? How do you imprison somebody who is an airbender and fucking lock them in an airplane? It makes no goddamn sense. For fuck's sake, there's like 30 fucking Fire Nation people and there's a hundred of you locked up. What do you mean? The choreography in this movie. The fucking choreography alone is something to point at. Why do I see people going like this? It's one thing if you're doing a cheesy cartoon. It's one thing if you do that. But this movie's trying to tell me to take this shit so seriously where I have to make Aang, not Ung, Aang, the Avatar, not Avatar, where he is so mopey, I have to feel for him, but yeah, you're gonna do in the fucking background. You're the fucking Fire Nation. I'm supposed to fear you. And you're jumping into, I, you're jumping into Aang's air blast. What are you doing? The choreography is so fucking sloppy. What was that with that prone shot? That one shot in that fight scene when, when the Blue Spirit and Aang were fighting together. Why was that one shot? Look, it's artsy. This is gonna be the one scene everyone talks about. Cause I want to and that's the piece. First off. Your choreography alone is really trash. Try and doing that in the one shot. My God. Like this shit looked rehearsed once and no one practiced because they were up drinking too late. That's what it looked like. Wow. If I did choreography like that in Shakespeare, senior Shakespeare class, my teacher would have given me an F. She would have been like, why is the guy in the background doing this? And then jumping into the attack. Why is he doing that when he's supposed to be the most feared person in the entire room? I don't know. It's artsy. See how I did the one probe shot? It's so artsy. F. That's what you got, Shyamalan. F. Fucking F. Okay. Now let's talk about the writing. No, I'm not going to talk about the main characters. I mean, they're going to be brought up. But the dialogue. For God sakes, man. Your comedy. When it shows up is flat, just flat. Leaving soda outside for three years and taking a big piss in it. That is not as flat as some of this dialogue and this humor. There's this awkward pause, like I'm supposed to laugh. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm supposed to find that funny? Am I, am, am I supposed to find that funny? You know what made the cartoon really funny? You know what made the cartoon? It was the interactions and how childish they were. They were very energetic. They were very free spirited. These people are fucking carrying 30 dead orphans on their fucking ankles. How am I supposed to fucking laugh at these people when they're so fucking serious all the time? The comedic relief is non-existent. Oh, and they try to do this, the, the comedic relief they, where they, Katara accidentally splashes them with water and then freezes them in ice. And they're like, Katara? That's not funny. You know why? Because I don't know their characters because they're so fucking flat. I'm getting, I'm getting really hot in this bitch. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm a little irritated. A little irritated. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Back to the whole dialogue thing. F film alone is a visual media. It is. I mean, there's some dialogue heavy scripts out there like, I don't know, a Quentin Tarantino. He's known for his dialogue. Shyamalan is trying to do that. So, at the end of the movie, everyone bows down to Aang because he's the Avatar. And they explain this in the, movie, in the movie in the beginning, in the middle, where how he didn't bow back and all this subtler stuff and he ran away. So we already know why people would bow to him because he's the Avatar. So tell me, so tell me, after all this, after all that exposition, tell me, why did Katara have this urge to go up to him saying they want you to be their avatar Aang then continues walking and pauses 
and makes it get ready for this because this is this is Oscar worthy dialogue right here. We want you as the avatar ring. Continues to walk by and then bows out. Congratulations, you wasted 15 seconds of my life making me think I was gonna learn something important. No shit! That's what they explained in the beginning of the movie! Now let's talk about some of the exposition scenes. I know this is a movie, and the cartoon was like, I, I think it was like 12, 22 episodes or something like that, so you're gonna have to cut some things out. But tell me, why do you get the urge to expedite everything? I'm not even sure if that's the word I'm looking for, but why do you have to use exposition for everything? Exposition for everything you see. Bro, fucking end me. The best thing I can say about this movie is the costumes. That's as low as I got is the costumes were not good, but they were pretty decent at best. Decent. I understand when it comes to filmmaking and transferring a beloved property, you have to take considerations of what to change and what not to change. But why did you change everything? I'm going to be one of those few people in this world that's going to say, I still want to see another airbender. Not from the same people, but like a reboot. It would be really, 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 really hard to do, but it's never gonna top the cartoon. But what made this movie the most insulting thing is they couldn't even get the main characters correct. If you would have at least gotten the main characters correct and everything else be bad or decent at best, a lot of the families would have forgave you, but you butchered Aang by not only butchering his character, but fucking up his name and his title, you ruin Katara, and the most disservice, I think, is Ahsoka. The comedic relief, the highest energy, the show off that doesn't really do anything, but that has a couple badass moments in there. None of that. None of that's in the cartoon because everyone's so freaking flat. The directing, the acting is so poor. The acting from Ahsoka was just terrible. Like there was a time where I can, I, I noticed he forgot his line. He was in the middle of talking in dialogue. He was like this and this and this and that, and then this, that's what he was like. It was really bad acting, really bad directing, really bad writing, bad visual effects at the for the most part, very awkward at best. But the most insulting thing is you got the characters wrong. That is honestly the most insulting. So I would like to see this be tried again but I would like wait a couple more years because the salt is still there for a lot of the fans. This is definitely my top 20, maybe top 10 uh, worst movies of all time. What makes this worse is, like I said, because I'm a fan. I'm a fan. That's what makes this even worse. If you're not a fan of the cartoons and you didn't grow up with it, you're just going to think it's just another bad movie. But I grew up with these cartoons. I, I was inspired with these cartoons. Like a huge part of my life was The Last Airbender. Ben 10 and Drake and Josh. Those were my three shows back in the day. And seeing that being butchered like that was just awful. Just awful. One out of five stars. Honestly, this movie is just garbage. If you're not a fan of the show, definitely don't watch it. If you're a fan of the show and never watch the movie, stay away from it. Just no one watch this movie. It's honestly a disease. Shyamalan really fucked the franchise on the ass. And I'm not saying that to be comedic, because it's true. He really dented the name of Last Airbender, probably scaring a couple people away to try the cartoon, uh, like to try out the cartoons. But the thing is, the cartoons it is a masterpiece. It had a the perfect, I mean the perfect blend of comedy, drama, storytelling, character development. It had everything down to the dime, and it was perfect it had its flaws yes but the characters and the storytelling was near perfect i want to hear your thoughts down below guys what did you think of this review what did you think of the cartoon what did you think of the movie i would like to hear your thoughts down below guys have a twitter instagram gums underscore videos go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and like crap later and goodbye